Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Para mi juna mutawafira biladi di mina lugat, yurja ziare suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. While beans have abundant micronutrients, they also contain anti nutrients. In plants, they are naturally designed to protect against bacterial infections and insects. Receiving optimal nutrition from beans. Continue watching to find out more. Vegan. So easy, man. Alhamdulillah is a phrase in the Arabic language meaning praise be to Allah. Benevolent viewers, my name is Nadir. The noble people of Yemen wish your life to be filled with bliss and Allah's love. Welcome to our show, Receiving Optimal Nutrition from Beans. Beans are one of the healthiest foods that can be included in a balanced diet. There are a wide variety of them, such as chickpeas, black beans, soybeans, and kidney beans, to name a few. They are excellent food choices for a healthy vegan diet because of their micronutrients, including B vitamins, iron, potassium, calcium, and zinc. Beans are rich in fiber protein and low glycemic carbohydrates, which can help reduce the unhealthy low-density lipoprotein or LDL cholesterol and promote better weight management and blood glucose control. Even though beans are highly nutritious, some people may experience unpleasant digestive symptoms such as gas, bloating, and stomach pain. Is there a way to get the best out of beans and minimize these unwanted occurrences? Research shows that there are indeed some methods we can use to reduce the side effects by preparing them in a specific way. Because the human digestive tract lacks an enzyme called alpha-galactosidase, a type of carbohydrate called raffinose in beans is poorly digested. After beans are eaten, raffinose will pass through the digestive tract undigested and enter the large intestine where the gut bacteria will digest and ferment it. This leads to the production of gases and causes bloating. Some studies show that soaking beans before eating can make raffinose leach out in the water and help remove some of it. One needs to change the water a few times during the soaking for best results. By doing that, unpleasant digestive symptoms can be minimized. Finally, one must cook the beans in fresh water because the soaking water contains the gas-producing carbohydrate. While beans have abundant micronutrients, they also contain anti-nutrients. In plants, they are naturally designed to protect against bacterial infections and insects. Anti-nutrients are compounds that can block the absorption of certain essential nutrients such as minerals. Phytic acid acts as the main storage for phosphorus in seeds. When a seed sprouts, phytase enzymes will act on phytic acid to release phosphorus which will later be used by the young plant. The anti-nutrient is found in whole grains, seeds, legumes, and nuts. Phytic acid is also used as a preservative in foods for its antioxidant properties. Because phytic acid can interfere with the absorption of iron, zinc, magnesium, and calcium, it can potentially lead to a mineral deficiency. However, 
it isn't so simple to draw a line to define phytic acid as a completely good or bad, because it also has numerous health benefits. Let's have a closer look at it and its overall effects on health. Anti-nutrients like phytic acid can interfere with the absorption of minerals consumed at the same meal. If foods high in phytic acid are eaten throughout the day on a daily basis, the chances of impaired absorption and deficiency of minerals will increase. However, the amount of phytic acid in beans can vary considerably. So knowing the exact amount of minerals possibly lost in one's diet can be challenging. The influence of phytic acid also varies depending on the metabolism of individuals and the way the food is prepared. With that being said, if phytic acid and minerals are consumed at different times in the day, a mineral deficiency caused by eating foods containing it is unlikely. Fortunately, we can adjust the time of our meals and the amount of foods containing anti-nutrients like phytic acid to lower the risk of impaired absorption of minerals. For example, if you already had a vegan bean burrito for lunch, you could have a vegan broccoli pasta salad with red pepper pesto instead of having beans for dinner as well. If someone has a pre-existing condition or is at higher risk of diseases related to mineral deficiencies, such as osteoporosis from the lack of calcium or anemia from insufficient iron levels, they may want to monitor their food choices, such as legumes that contain higher amounts of phytic acid. It is recommended to avoid eating a big portion of foods that contain phytic acid at one meal and to incorporate a variety of foods in your diet throughout the day. The ambient energy in the world we all share, good or bad. So, make it good, be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. We will pause a moment for a constructive message and we'll be right back to share how to prepare beans to get the most health benefits from them, including cooking tips. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Receiving Optimal Nutrition from Beans on Supreme Master Television. Even though phytic acid is considered an anti-nutrient, studies have shown that vegetarians who eat diets that are abundant in them have not demonstrated deficiencies in iron and zinc. It's also suggested that the body may adapt to the effect of anti-nutrients by enhancing the absorption of minerals in the gut. In addition, phytic acid may also have some health benefits. For example, research has shown that phytic acid can help lower cholesterol, aid digestion and prevent a spike in blood sugar. Therefore, the takeaway message is to adopt a balanced vegan diet and not overstress on minimizing phytic acid consumption. There are several preparation methods to help reduce the phytic acid content of foods. One way to lessen it is through water soaking as mentioned previously. Studies suggest that soaking beans in plain water for 12 hours at room temperature can lower the amount of phytic acid by up to 66%, as well as other anti-nutrients including lectins, tannins, and calcium oxalate. This can greatly lower the impaired mineral absorption caused by phytic acid. Other methods can also be used in combination with soaking to increase the nutritional value of beans. One is called sprouting which is a stage in the life cycle of plants 
when they begin to germinate from the seed. This process makes the nutrients more readily available in beans. Studies suggest that sprouting can reduce phytic acid by 37 to 81 percent in various types of grains and legumes including beans. To grow your own tasty bean sprouts, begin with rinsing the seeds to remove debris. Soak them for 2 to 12 hours in cool, fresh water depending on the type. Then rinse them and drain thoroughly before placing the seeds in a sprouting container away from direct sunlight. Repeating the process of rinsing and draining 2 to 4 times a day. Once sprouting begins, phytic acid will start to degrade. Fermentation is a method that has been used since ancient times to preserve food. It is a natural process when microorganisms, such as bacteria or yeast, begin to digest carbohydrates in food. You may wonder what the difference is between fermentation and food spoilage. Even though both processes involve microorganisms digesting foods, Spoilage can occur by accident when unwanted bacteria grow uncontrollably and cause biochemical changes leading to an unpleasant taste or smell. In contrast to spoilage, fermentation is a controlled process with beneficial microorganisms. It is a common food manufacturing practice, such as in the making of sourdough bread. The fermentation process in sourdough production can degrade anti-nutrients to increase the nutritional value. According to research, letting pre-soaked brown beans ferment for 48 hours can lower the content of phytic acid by 88%. Boiling is another way to decrease anti-nutrients in beans. Phytic acid is heat resistant and harder to be broken down by boiling. However, it is still an effective method for reducing other anti-nutrients such as lectins, tannins, and protease inhibitors. We have learned a few techniques to make eating beans healthier. Now, we have some cooking tips for making beans more flavorful. 1. Success with a bean recipe starts with the preparation Remember to wash the beans and remove small stones or debris prior to soaking them. 2. By adding a teaspoon or approximately 5 grams of bicarbonate soda per cup or 180 grams of dried beans when cooking, they will become softer and less likely to cause flatulence. 3. About 3 fourths the way through cooking the beans is an optimal time for adding the other ingredients we want. In order to let more of certain flavors permeate the bean's outer membrane, a good method is to add the acidic ingredients first. For example, put in your sauteed onions, chopped tomatoes, and balsamic or apple cider vinegar before other items. Fresh herbs and olive oil should come later to lock in the best flavors. Mother Nature has provided us with a variety of choices when it comes to beans, with so many different types available that feature an abundance of color too. We hope that today's show has provided you with useful preparation tips to get the most nutrition and health benefits when eating this power-packed food. By not eating meat for a couple of months, I have lost more than a stone, 6 kilograms, and I have discovered fascinating and healthy cuisine from around the globe. His Excellency Edward Macmillan Scott, Vegetarian. Candid viewers, thank you for your company today on our program. Up next is, if you are good to others, God will be good to you. Part 3 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples right after Noteworthy News. 
May the grace of heaven bless you abundantly. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.